So up first we have Salma Hayek and she is wearing Gucci. I feel like I've seen her in this kind of silhouette dress before. Tight on the breast, a little bit exposed, teeny tiny waist dropping to the floor. You know, with a little bit of fringe. So she looks good. Has she looked like this before? Yes. Is it a repeat of her repertoire? Yes, so therefore it's not really anything different, but she looks good. If you're new to this channel, my name is Devin. I make videos on fashion, vlogs and unboxings and everything in between. So please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Up next, we have Kate Blanchett and she is wearing Louis Vuitton and Giuseppe Zanotti. So she's in this dress, which kind of looks like a two piece. So it kind of looks like a blouse, no shade. And then into like a skirt that's going down to the floor in black. It's okay again. Will I remember it in a year's time? No. Does she look good? Yes, but I'd like to do something else because I know she can really turn a look. Absolutely. So therefore, it's kind of middle of the road for me with this look, to be honest. Up next, we have Cara Delevingne and she is wearing Ellie Saab. So she's in this red dress, which is kind of going off to one side. It's kind of ruched, kind of like a flower kind of arrangement on one side of her shoulder, down to the floor with a very high slit. And it's kind of like a corset kind of vibe in the middle with the jewelry on. The jewelry is Bulgari with the also matching red shoe. Great, she looks fantastic. This is the best I think I've ever actually seen her look. Anytime she's been on the red carpet, no shade, it's never really been a moment, but this I think is a really strong look for her. And you know, she's been through the mill recently. If you know, you know. So therefore to see her come out to the Oscars for 2023 and kill it in this red look, hats off, she looks sensational. The best I've ever seen her look, period. Up next we have Halle Bailey and she is wearing Dolce & Gabbana. So she's in this light blue tooled dress, which is kind of corseted in the middle and then dropping to the floor with a little bit of a diamond necklace around her neck and then hair is pulled back. This dress is meh. Is it amazing? Definitely not. Will I remember it? No. Does she look nice and gorgeous? Yes. Is it an Oscar dress? No. Up next, we have Rihanna and she is wearing a liar. So she's in this kind of mesh kind of bodysuit, I would say, underneath with this leather dress on top with cutouts. So it's kind of got slits on the side, dropping down to the floor, exposing the baby bump for baby number two. And then it's kind of got like a leather strap across the boobs. She looks amazing. She looks great. Rihanna is the best person I've seen do pregnancy. Period. Like she really kills this pregnancy look. Because remember Kim? I mean, I can't say that, but it's just out of order. I mean, when you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're going through a lot, but she really does pregnancy well. Is this look great? Yes. Would I say she probably should have wore it to the Vanity Fair after party? More so, yeah, it's a little bit away from Oscars, but she looks amazing, so I'm gonna give it to her. Up next, we have Florence Pugh, and she is wearing Valentino and Tiffany and & Co. jewelry. I love this whole look, but then again, I do think this should have been worn to the after party. It's not really an Oscars look, but she does look good. My only issue is because she is a petite girl, the look is wearing her. She isn't wearing the look, if you know what I mean. There's too much on the floor, like it's bunching. Like it's supposed to be oversized. It's that kind of vibe and that kind of silhouette. But if, if it was tailored better, it would be a slam dunk. Cause I feel like this dress was made for someone who was slightly taller at least three inches taller and she's obviously a petite girl so it's kind of just a little bit of a bunch and a drag on the floor but i do like the look and the hair and makeup is flawless so i'm gonna give you that up next we have paul maskell and he is wearing gucci so he's in this kind of slightly oversized white tuxedo jacket with the black trousers that are kind of loose slightly flared with the black bow tie and the red rose. I actually love this look. It's nice to see a guy, you know, branch out and not do the usual black suit. And I like it how he's kind of gone for that vintage vibe, made it a little bit oversized with the red bow. Love that, love this whole look. I love how his hair is kind of like, kind of slightly giving me mullet, but I do like it. I like it how the pants are slightly flared. I feel like this is a very strong look. Staying with the men, we're gonna go with Austin Butler and he is wearing Saint Laurent. Why are you always in a black suit? Like, obviously he was nominated for best actor for playing Elvis, but Elvis didn't always wear black looks. Like he always was wearing some form of bright 
color maybe like a fringe maybe like a cut out so he could have done something else and i'm not saying he needs to dress like elvis because he doesn't but he's been talking like him in every interview he's done so therefore you could have incorporated some of his looks into your looks because every red carpet you've done black 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 non-stop i mean you look fire but mix it up come on please g give me something else up next we have lady gaga and she is wearing versace now this is straight from the fall winter versace show that they just had in la in west hollywood she looks amazing love this entire look black dress going all the way down to the floor with the mesh underneath with the cutouts too and i love it how it's got the dropped waist love this whole look i'm not a massive fan of the makeup but I'm not a makeup connoisseur, so I don't know if it's good or bad. But what my eyes see, I'm not really into it. But from neck down, it's sensational. Love it. It's a perfect Oscar look, sorry. You know Gaga always turns a look, so it's nice to see her back on the red carpet, showing it down. Up next, we have Jessica Chastain, and she is wearing Gucci. So she's in this very fitted dress that is dropping down to the floor. It's got a V cut out in the middle, diamonds around the neck. I'm not sure who the diamonds are by and then the hair is kind of tussled down to one side and it's also got like a little fishtail going out in the black when i first saw the look i like the silhouette it's a very typical oscar dress i would say it looked a little bit underwhelming and may i say cheap but in other pictures it actually looked quite glam so i'm kind of not sure about this look i'm not going crazy for it that's what i do know but what i do think is is that it's an okay dress she could have definitely pulled out something else because i know she's turned looks before so this is kind of middle of the road for me to be honest up next we have fan bing bing and she is wearing tony ward i'm gonna like it the what i don't like about this dress is the color of this extra fabric on this kind of cape material so in the middle it's kind of like a fringed sparkly material what would you call that like a crystal kind of vibe with like a halter neck. I actually quite like that. And I do like this extra fabric on the sides, but I just wish it, I just wish it wasn't in this kind of like Bottega green. Like I like the Bottega green on a mini Jody, but I'm not a massive fan of it on this dress for some reason. It's just kind of giving me Grinch, but I don't know why. If it was in a different color, yes, but in this green, it's not for me. I apologize. Up next, we have Angela Bassett, and she is wearing Machina with Bulgari jewelry, and she she's doing the thing because let me tell you, she looks fire. She looks beautiful. She looks like a winner, even though she didn't win. And people are going ape about it because maybe she was robbed. I'm not saying she was. I'm not saying she wasn't. But the word on the street is she was robbed. But she looks like a winner in this dress. She's in this purple kind of number. It's kind of like ruched slash crisscrossed in the middle. The top of it look, kind of looks like a bow, but it isn't. And then it's kind of got off to one side with another kind of bow silhouette on one side at the knee, dropping to the floor and kind of fishtailing out. I think she looks gorgeous. I think she looks rich. She looks like money. Love this look on her. Love the hair. Love the makeup. The jewelry looks beautiful on her. Only thing I would say is I'm not a massive fan of bags on the red carpet unless they really make sense. So I would probably lose the bag, but besides that, it's a winner. Up next, we have Halle Berry and she is wearing Tamara Ralph. So she's in this white dress, which has kind of got a cutout on the breast area. It's kind of got roses placed on the neckline and it's also got roses on the top of the dress, but the very high slit going down to the floor with the gold shoes. I like the dress. There's something about these roses that is giving me clunky for some reason. They just look very just like blobbed on. They don't look like part of the dress. It looks like an afterthought. Like someone made the dress and thought, you know what, Hallie, this isn't giving enough. So what I'm going to do is I've got these roses. I'm just going to stick these on. A little bit like that, if you know what I mean. The slit is just a little bit too high for me and I'm not a prude. But for the Oscars, maybe so. And I feel like this slit doesn't really make sense. And then the roses are just plonked on top there. So... It's just a bit combobulated for me, to be honest. A tiny bit makeshift, a little bit art attack. So for that reason, I'm going to say it's slightly a miss. But she obviously is one of the most beautiful women in the world. So I won't take that from you. But for the look. Up next, we have Ariana DeBose. Like, I'm not going to drag her because she's already been through enough. This look kind of looks like a knockoff Balmain look to me. If you got Balmain, a knockoff Balmain look and mix it with a fashion over look, put it together. That is what this is kind of giving me. So I'll leave it as that. Up next, we have Mindy Culling and she is wearing Vera Wang. So she's in this all white number dress going down to the floor. It's kind of got like a mesh cut out kind of in the middle with like this shell 
bra kind of vibe. Then the cutout is on the shoulders, but then it kind of picks up with the sleeve going out and it's slightly flared. This is a kind of unusual look, but I actually do love this look on her. I think she looks amazing. Like it's something I've not really seen before. So that aspect is good. It's also got like a side pocket on, which is also nice. The cutout is done very tastefully in the middle, especially for the Oscars. So we definitely say this is a win. Love this look and I think she looks great in it. So I don't normally do this, but for my honorary shout out, I'm gonna give it to Cara Delevingne because I think this is the best she's ever looked. Like she looks great, she looks youthful, skin's glowing, she looks beautiful, love the dress, love the matching shoe, I love all of it. So therefore she's my honorary shout out. But for my best look of the Oscars 2023, I'm gonna give it to Lady Gaga because I love this whole Versace look. She looks sensational, beautiful, fits her body perfectly, and she looks like a movie star, so I had to give it to her. And for the worst look of the Oscars 2023, I had to give it to Fan Bing Bing in this green with the shiny look in the middle just because the green is just throwing me it's just a bit too much for me it's kind of giving me christmas i don't know why but it's also giving me Bottega green but not Bottega. so just something a little bit off for that but she is not bad it's just not a win Guys, I hope you like my Oscars fashion red carpet review of 2023. Please let me know in the comment section which one was your best and which one was your worst. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye guys.